Good morning, everyone. As we are in Holy Week, and as we prepare for Easter in, a, in just a couple of days, I just wanted to share one of my favorite passages of the Easter narrative and what it, what it means to me, but also what it means as we prepare for Easter and as we get ready to celebrate the resurrection of our Lord and Savior. So this comes from Mark 14, verse 66, and it is the passage in which Peter denies Jesus. And this passage is really powerful because it talks about how some shows someone who really loved Jesus and who was, you know, followed him and was part of his part of his ministry and would do anything for him. I mean, he cut the ear off of the soldier slash guard who was trying to take Jesus away because that's, all, you know, that's the first thing he could think of. The person who he called out to is saying when he was drowning, when he was walk, try, tried to walk on water. <laughs> so you can see that Peter really loved Jesus. And I think that's why this passage is like, really powerful because it talks about someone who went from that to denying him and why he did it and what what was going on in that time so as i said it's mark 14 verse 66 and as peter was below in the courtyard one of the servant girls of the high priest came and seeing peter warming himself she looked at him and said you also were with the nazarene jesus but he denied it, saying, I neither know, know nor understand what you are talking about, or what you mean. And he went out into the gateway, and the rooster crowed. And the servant girl saw him and began, began again to say to the bystanders, This man is one of them. But again he denied it. And after a little while, the bystanders again said to Peter, Certainly you are one of them, for you're a Galilean. you are a Galilean. But he began to invoke a curse on himself and to swear, I do not know this man of whom you speak. And immediately the rooster crowed a second time. And Peter remembered how Jesus had said to him, before the rooster crows twice, you will deny me three times. And he broke down and wept. That's such an important passage of scripture because you can see the brokenness that Peter had and the shame that he had for that and how he felt just broken and he was weeping and I have this image of Peter kind of against a wall and just falling down and crying and that's really important to visualize because like I said he loved Jesus cared about him he would do anything for him And it doesn't really say as to why, you know, it could have been because Jesus was about to be crucified and as he wasn't very well liked by the people at that time. And maybe Peter thought that he was going to be crucified or he thought that people were just going to judge him and, you know, question him and all this. It doesn't really say, but I think it's important to look at it and think either way he didn't want he was trying to conform to this world he was trying to deny Jesus so that people wouldn't look at him differently and that's important for us to look at and to remember not to do we are we're called to be like God and be like Christ and not to conform to this world not to let, what, let, uh, to let what others think of us uh, influence us, really. And I think that's the important part. We need to remember to be bold in our faith. And be like, yes, I am a Christian because Jesus did this and this for me. He saved me from this. He saved me from that. And I think that's the important part to remember is we need to be bold and have that 
boldness that like I'm a Christian and I'm proud of that. And of course, you know, Jesus said this life's not going to be easy and there are going to be people who judge us, who criticize our faith, who don't agree with it. But again, Jesus is greater than that. So we need to remember, we need to remember that and remember to be bold in the fact that we are Christians and say that with pride, not be proud of the fact that we are Christians and that we are following the one true God. So as we go into Holy Week and prepare for Easter, just wanted to leave you guys with that. Just be bold. Be bold in your faith. Be bold in who you are. And just remember that. All right. So have a ha happy Easter. Really disappointed that we can't be, meet, be together. But we will be soon. And anyway, happy Easter. Bye.